Today we are talking all about hydrocolloid bandages. Ah, cool. Don't pick your skin, pick bandage. What's up guys, it's my face story here. If you don't know what a hydrocolloid bandage is, it is basically a band-aid that many acne sufferers use. Let me show you what it looks like. It usually looks like this. But hydrocolloid bandages have been used for a long time to treat like infections, wounds, things like that. Um, if you've ever worn heels, you've probably used one. If you've gotten a blister on the back of your foot, it basically will like seal up the area, make it completely bacteria proof, completely waterproof, and it helps to absorb any bacteria that is in the infection and kind of pull it out and it will stay within the band-aid and you can actually see it, it's pretty gross. But yeah, they're pretty cool. So basically with hydrocolloids, it's a band-aid. So I thought, you know, how different really could a hydrocolloid be? And with all these different acne patches on the market, I just bought like the top ones and I thought, okay, let's test them out. So over the past like month, whenever I got pimples, I would test out different ones. And I'm here now to report back to you guys my findings. Also, let's talk about the elephant in the room that I'm wearing makeup. Yes, and it looks so bomb. I'm seeing like my friends today that I haven't seen since graduation, like five years, I haven't seen people. So I was like, I need to be like, hunty slay. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I look good, so that's good. But yeah, let's get to the hydrocolids. I am always just like throwing in little bits of nonsense. Let's start with the brand that I was seeing everywhere on Instagram and you guys have probably seen them too because when they first released their patch, they were literally giving them out like hotcakes. This is the Mighty Patch from Hero Cosmetics. It looks like this. But this one was $12.99, which I thought was expensive. I think this was like the most expensive one. I think that the packaging on this one is really cute. And it shows on the back how it works. So you have a pimple, you put the patch on, and then the patch absorbs all the bacteria and all the gunk that is inside of your pimple. And then kind of just like, there you go. And then kind of just like protects it while it's healing. This one comes with a couple different sheets because it has 36 in it. And all of these sheets and this one, these are all the same size. So these aren't different. These are all pretty big. So if you get bigger pimples, this would be a good choice for you. But I am giving this the award of most sticky, the longest staying patch because I have really sensitive skin and most of these stay on like decently. Sometimes you have to like push them on throughout the day. But this, I will show you guys, maybe the camera will actually pick it up. This kind of, is like too sticky. And it also feels different compared to the other patches. This one feels like really smooth. So I think it's something that you kind of have to get used to because I just kept touching my face like throughout the day. I kept touching it to like make sure it was there or something. I don't know, I'm like weird about textures. But there you can see it. So it kind of has like a little bit of yellow tint just like the other one. Doesn't blend in seamlessly, but it's not that thick, but here, let's see. See how it's pulling? It's so sticky. It's like misformed now and it stretches. And I just didn't like how it kind of like pulled at my skin. Um, so I probably would not be using that one again. I mean, I'll probably use them all up since I have them now, but I wouldn't be buying that again. But if you're wanting to wear it, you know, for like three days, four days or something, it definitely has the staying power because it stayed on through the shower, it stayed on through my workout. So this one is definitely, it is mighty because it's mighty strong, so I will give them that. The second patch, this is the first one I tried and you guys probably know this brand because they are a well-known Band-Aid brand and that is Next Care. Sorry, the box is like <laughs> destroyed, but this is the Acne Absorbing Covers. This one has 36. And I think this one was $7 on Amazon. So this one was again, one of the cheaper ones. But the Next Care ones are the thickest. These ones are going to be the most absorbent. You can see they are super thick. These ones definitely have like a yellow or an orange tint to them. But I like these ones to wear at night. Here, let me show you see how yellow it is these ones absorb the most so it's not gonna like really blend into your skin but you know if you're wanting to get rid of all that pus and heal it the quickest this is going to be your best bet again it is going to absorb the most because it's the thickest and it has the most hydrocolloid in it and you see like this one doesn't 
stretch compared to that other one. So it kind of just sticks, it like sits on the skin. You might have to like push it down to make sure it's still on there, but it's not gonna be like the other one where it was kind of hard to get off. The third patch, one of the most like top rated, and this is the Acne Pimple Master Patch by COSRX Cosrix. This is a Korean brand and this one's super popular. It doesn't have like any additives in it. It's just the hydrocolloid. So there's not gonna be any like tea tree or any oils or anything like that. Um, some of them also have like salicylic acid to help the pimple heal. But these, the Acne Pimple Master Patch, that's a mouthful. These I actually found to be pretty good. I would say these are the most bang for your buck. You can usually get these on Amazon. You know, prices fluctuate, but I would say you can get these for like, Anywhere between four and six dollars. I think I got a pack of two for like six fifty or something. And each one, it'll come with this little sheet that I showed you. It has a bunch of different sizes. And I would say that it has medium thickness, medium absorbency, and not that sticky, but medium stickiness. So that's why I think it's the most bang for your buck because it's kind of right in the middle and it's the cheapest. It gets the job done. I used one of these and I felt like it did absorb a good amount of bacteria out of my pimple. Best bang for your buck. And the fourth patch, so this is like not a well-known brand and they're not really like on Instagram or anything. I haven't really like found anything about them, but this was one of the top rated ones on Instagram and that is the Avarelli cover patch. Looks like this. And this one has 40 patches, comes with a bunch of different sizes, and these big ones you could cut into smaller ones too if you wanted. Has these like easy tear away strips, and these are the thinnest. Like these are the ones that you can totally wear with makeup. They are transparent, so they blend in with any skin tone. You can wear them throughout the day, and nobody would notice, nobody would say anything. I went out with Tyler, my husband, and we went to the bar, and I wore them, and nobody said anything. But then again, maybe the people were drunk, but still no one said anything. So here you see, and this one blends in like almost seamlessly. Can you even see where it's at? You know? So this one, I will say it doesn't really absorb that much. So I would only recommend these maybe during the daytime and then put a more absorbent one on at night. But then you're spending like money on two of them. So I would either go with this in the morning and this at night, or you could do just this one because it's in between. I think this one is a mix of these two. Best deal, longest staying, most absorbent, best to wear during the daytime. And I found with these two, you can like, I don't have one on right now because I don't really have any actors right now. <gasps> yes, queen! <laughs> I don't have any actors right now, so I'm not wearing any right now, but you can totally wear them with makeup, under makeup, and it looks flawless, hunty. So yeah, guys, hopefully this was like insightful. I haven't done like a review in a while, but I remember the last one I did on PMD seemed like you guys really seemed to like it. So if you want me to do more video type reviews, let me know down below in the comments and I will be doing that. All right guys, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe to the Acne channel and have a good day and all that stuff. And <laughs> yeah, all right, bye guys. There's a hole.